Today we're testing out the AO lithium battery and we're going to put one of its claims to the test. They state that at 12 volts it can handle a 200 amp load continuously. I actually asked a distributor of Kelb cells, the type that are inside this battery, and they said that it can handle a 2C load or 200 amps for this capacity for only three minutes. And if you wanna do a 3C load, these cells can handle it for 30 seconds. And typically, if you exceed that discharge rate that's recommended by the manufacturer, you will have increased rates of degradation. But it's lithium iron phosphate, and there's a good chance that it can handle it just fine. Demanding 2Cs from any lithium iron phosphate batteries is not that strenuous. Now, if it's 3 to 5C, that's not gonna work. That's gonna cause increased degradation degradation rapidly. But I found lots of studies where you charge at 1C and discharge at 2C and the rates of degradation weren't that bad. But even if you do what the manufacturer recommends under three minutes, you'll be able to power a microwave off of this single battery if it can actually do it. Keep in mind that anything under three minutes is totally fine and you can do it over and over every single day. So this opens up for 12 volt systems, the ability to run a microwave off of a very small system. Um, having a single battery running a microwave is pretty incredible. So how we're gonna test this 200 amp claim is I have a 4,000 watt 12 volt inverter connected with two watt gauge cables. And I use this battery charger to charge it up to 100%. And even though we're using two watt gauge cables, look at how it fits on the terminal. I was scared that this recessed terminal would not allow large cables to be fit on here. And it's true that you cannot have multiple lugs on this single terminal, but it does handle the two watt gauge cable just fine. And because this is a high C rate test, we're not gonna use a shunt to determine the capacity. I just wanna see how long it can run this load for until it shuts down. So we're gonna use two current clamp meters and a stopwatch and 200 amps at 12 volts is 2,400 watts. So I have two battery chargers connected to this inverter and I'm gonna charge my main solar power system with those. And one has a variable current so we can fine tune it so we have exactly 200 amps. There we go, we've got 57, 70, 80, and I'm running the stopwatch right now. Oh, there we go. Oh, too much, too much. 201 amps, so we're gonna run this as long as possible. We're gonna verify our results with the second meter. We have 200 amps and 201, and these are one to 3% accurate, so that's perfect. This is a lot of power, you guys, this is crazy. This is actually more power than a microwave requires with a single battery. That's, that's pretty mind boggling. Can you believe it's actually doing this? 23 minutes of 200 amps from a single battery. That is insane. Oh, there we go. Over 27 minutes of runtime at 200 amps. Now we're gonna open up the app and see what the state of charge is. Zero percent, so this battery is totally done. How crazy is that? They were not lying. Usually when they have high continuous discharge rates, they cut off after like five minutes. So this, that's pretty cool. Now we're gonna take this thing apart and see how hot the components are. Whew, it is hot. It is very, very hot. And the heat sink is only 95 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty crazy. Oh, here we go. The bus bars are 150 degrees Fahrenheit. We got 137 at the battery terminal. Whew, the cells are hot. Yeah, the cells are at 121 degrees Fahrenheit. That is not recommended. The heat sink is cooling down very quickly. Very uniform temperature distribution across the whole sink. But yeah, it actually pulled it off. How cool. And I just reassembled this thing. I was scared that it would cut off because I didn't put it back together well enough. But yeah, it works. It works really well. Now, even though it can do it, I would not go over like five minutes. Um, if you're running a microwave, you can totally do it if it's under five minutes. If you're running like 150 amps, which some small microwaves will pull, you could easily run this for like 15 minutes, no problem, without any serious increase in degradation rate. Also, this is very useful for surge capacity. If you're trying to run motors and you have multiples of these in parallel, you can run some pretty large loads with these. And for the price, I mean, think about it, $630. Also, this battery is UI 
UL listed. And no, I do not mean certified by a third party or conforming to a UL standard. It is actually listed by Underwriters Laboratory. And previously, to have this type of listing on a lithium iron phosphate, you'd have to spend at least $1,000, usually around $1,300 for a UL listed pack. So pretty impressive. I think it's worth the price. Um, it is $60 more than an SOK, but considering the current that it can push, um, if you need that for your application, this is a fantastic battery. Also, I was missing some screws on the heat sink because I couldn't find them. Um, and yeah, I had to reassemble it and I kind of bent some of the bus bars, but it, it actually worked. So that's pretty impressive. So it is serviceable, but you have to be very careful and use the right tools. Um, I got pretty frustrated the first time around and I was kind of throwing stuff around, but even I was able to put it back together and make it work perfectly. So pretty cool. Also, these cells are pretty good. These are the latest generation Kelb cells. Um, I'm not a big fan of the older Kelb cells. Um, because they were very heavy and very bulky, but the new ones, the aluminum case ones, because they're trying to compete with Cattle and Eve um, and everybody else, they're making some really good cells now, and kelp has been around for a very long time. And that's pretty much it for this video. I'm surprised it actually passed, and I hope you guys like the results. There will be an affiliate link below if you want to check this battery out. And yeah, for some people, this could make you really happy and be very useful. You can make a very small system that can run massive loads. So very cool. Anyways, I will talk to you guys in the next video and thank you so much for watching. Bye.